EM spam integration is a great capability for securely retrieving the credentials that are stored in an external BAM provider like CyberArk or HashiCorp and so on. BAM integration with EM consists of three simple steps. First is the BAM script registration step. So here I have the CyberArk script provided by my security admin and I will use that to register in EM to securely retrieve the credentials. So step one, to register the script we have this EMCLI uh, config a credential provider command passed with all the parameters such as provider name, input file path, and so on. Let me execute this command. So here in the output, you can see that this uh, credential provider CyberArk is now configured in EM. This completes the first step. Step two is to create credential mapping. So here we are mapping the script output to the credential type in EM. Let me execute the EMC like command with parameters such as mapper name, credential type, etc., to map the DB credential type with the script attributes. So I run this, and here in the output, you will see that the credential mapping is saved for the database. This completes the second step in PAM integration with EM. The step three is the final step in the integration process to create or modify a named credential in EM. Here I will use a new named credential by specifying parameters such as uh, alternate credential store, credential key, credential mapping to indicate that the credential for the database will be fetched from an external PAM store instead of fetching it from the EM repository. I execute the command and here you can see that it says that the sys underscore cyber R credential is now created. With this, the PAM integration with EM is complete and you are ready to go. I'm going to show you how to use this PAM-based new name credential that we created to log into a database from EM console. And we will see how EM seamlessly fetches the credentials from a PAM provider without any extra effort. So here is your familiar EMCC homepage. And let's say I want to run Ash Analytics or run a job which will require a login. So let's go to Setup security name credentials and if you scroll down here you will see the sys underscore cyber r credential i have created the password management for this uh, credential is done through cyber arc and is not stored in enterprise manager now let's see how to use this credential to log into the database to view the performance page so if we go to targets let's click on databases we are going to pick this specific database and now let's say I want to go to Ash Analytics. So let's do that. Performance Hub, Ash Analytics. So now you get to the familiar database login page. Here I'm going to specify the sys underscore cyber R credential that we had created earlier. And now you click login and there you go directly to the page. So it basically behaves exactly like an EM credential would, except that in this particular case, the password management is done through an external provider like CyberArk in this case, as opposed to within EM itself. So the behavior is exactly what you're familiar with once you have carried out those three steps I showed you a little bit earlier.